Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, this is the Burke Building Kids, and today we are going to be replacing our current um, TP-Link Archer A7 router with the Google Mesh system. Now, in our home, we have you know more than 20 different devices that are connected to our um, our our router, our Wi-Fi router, with um, the different smart devices, cameras, and so forth. So. We're seeing a lot of effects to our Wi-Fi usage, and you know, with kids doing school from home, working from home, it's really slowing everybody down. So um, we're getting we're getting very slow internet speeds. So what we're going to do is we're going to be replacing um, our our old Archer, and we're going to be replacing we're going to be replacing it with this. And I'm going to run some tests on our house in specific places to kind of show you guys if we have improved and how much we have improved with the system. So uh, we're going to get started. Here we go. All right, now guys, I've been very excited to rip into this. This is, um, it has one router and three, or excuse me, one router and um, two points. So. I'm going to be replacing the router in its current position and I'm going to put these points kind of at the areas where we're seeing the worst Wi-Fi usage right now. So there will probably be one in my office which is kind of like the central location to all of the other internet uh, in our second floor and we'll probably place the, another point somewhere downstairs in the basement to help the, uh, the streaming and the usage uh, happening in the basement. So, But let's dig into this box. All right, and as you can see, it is Christmas um, around our house. We've got lots of different Lego sets built. All right, so let's see what's inside. All right. Wonderful. All right. So we've got our main router here. We've got our one access point and our other access point. Now, what works, what's really cool, and I, I will be honest with you, we are an Alexa house, so this is going to be different. Um, we don't have any Google Home ports yet, so this is going to be new to us. So this comes with Google Home, so it should come with some nice, nice features there. Now, additionally inside the box, so once we'll just take this part off. Let's get these out of the way. All right. So we've got our little starting packet. Inside here we've got tons of wires. I think this is going to be a network cable. Yeah, we got a network cable. And that's it. That is it. These are really these are really cool little plugs. Awesome, I like these. Very cool. All right, so as I make these replacements, we're gonna hook up this router and I'm gonna walk through the setup on the app, um, show you guys how we got, and you know, we're getting all this set up. So let's move there. All right guys, now this is one of the most challenging parts, at least uh, for us here um, in the BBK house. So um, it is hooking up the new Wi-Fi network. So 
you know, it, it's okay if someone's on the old Wi-Fi network, but they're gonna lose their signals. We're gonna need to reconnect all these devices. So what I'm gonna do to try to minimize that effect is when we go on the Google Home app, I'm going to do my best to rename, um, I rename the network name to what it currently is. So, um, really, this is pretty simple to set up. Um, so we're gonna take we're gonna take our new Nest or our new um, our new router. We are gonna connect power to it. Okay, and. Currently, we have got the network cable being run from the basement from our provider's router, or our provider's modem up to here. So we're going to disconnect all of this here. the network. Uh, we also have our ring plugged in here so I'm going to plug that into the secondary port. Okay. All right. So now we have not unplugged anything at all. We have plugged in the new router. As you guys can see here, it is now waiting for me to just go into the Google Home app to finish that up. So you wanna make sure you have Google Home downloaded. And we're going to follow the instructions. I'm going to start recording. I'm going to start recording. And we're going to open Google Home. Okay. Get started. Okay. So, home. Scan this.
All right, now we had our last one called BBK Net, BBK Net 5G, um, to distinguish some difference, and I'm actually gonna go through and make sure all the devices are connecting to BBK Nest and not BBK Net. So, BBK Nest, I'll blur this out. Choose location for your Wi-Fi device. This will help you organize your devices, okay. Where is this device? This device is in our family room. Okay, now, we do have multiple devices, so we're not gonna set these up yet. Um, we're gonna go, well, actually we're gonna go to our office and set this up, but before we do that, we're gonna make sure that we have reconnected everything to the new network. That way we can kind of get a good feeling of where we're still losing signal. Um, and where we need to add those additional Wi-Fi ports. So um, we're not gonna be setting up multiple devices. Okay, so we're gonna finish this. Okay, so we are up to date. Now, we're gonna blur all this out so no one else can see. Okay, now, Let's check our Wi-Fi. Okay, so this is this is not bad. Um, I am slightly slightly concerned. Um, let's see here. So we had the basement yesterday. Okay, so next to the router yesterday, we were pulling 12 megabits per second. So it is a definite improvement. You know, pretty much all over the house we pulled 12. So I'm gonna get everything reconnected, and we'll see what we can clock in at. All right, guys, so I went through the house, and man, these internet speeds are just roaring. We are clocking over 100 megabytes or megabits per second everywhere in the house. I've got one small pocket in the basement um, where we lose, we go down to about 40 megabits per second, but it is so, such an improvement still from our old Wi-Fi that I don't think I'm gonna put any of these hubs downstairs just because you know we use it minimally in the gaming center we're still getting around 100 megabits per second for the kids so I'm not really I'm not gonna worry about it down there so I'm gonna just kind of reinforce our upstairs so in my office we're gonna put this first this first hub so um, I'm gonna 
turn on my my recording again on the app. All right, so here we go. So we're going to set up these additional devices. So we're going to set up device. Okay, so it's looking for devices. Now I haven't I haven't plugged this in yet. So I'll plug this in now. It's still looking. Okay. Now that we've got this plugged in, we're gonna set it up. We'll start our recording again. Okay. We're gonna add device, new device. Home. Ooh, here it's. Hi. To get started, use the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. You got it. I'm here. This is fancy. Scan QR code. All right. That looks pretty sweet on my desk. Oh, yeah, I heard the sound. Did you hear the sound? Alright, teach your assistant to recognize your voice. Okay. Agree to voice match, I agree. Okay, Google, what's the weather tomorrow? Okay, Google, remind me to water my plants every Monday. Hey, Google, make a call. Hey, Google, set a timer for five minutes. Hi, I'm your Google Assistant, here to help you throughout your day. Hi, I'm your Google Assistant, here to help you throughout your day. Let's go voice one. She sounds very pleasant. Nah, no thanks, I'm good. Select default music. Alright, cool. Not now. Yeah, I can do all this later. Not now, I'm good. Not now, I'm good. Want to set up. Nope. We are good. Testing mesh. Now, the fun stuff begins. So, previously, when I was downstairs, 
Like I said, we were around 100 megabits per second. Next to the router, in this room, I was almost 100 megabits per second. So I don't know that it's going to improve. I don't know that it's going to decrease, but we're gonna test it here. What I'm most curious about is in our next room over is our home office. Now in our home office, or I'm sorry, in our bedroom. So in our bedroom, some points of the bedroom I was getting 100 megabits per second. In the very far corner where our Roku is, we are getting like 30. So it's still quite an improvement from the few that I was getting in the bedroom before. So I don't know, we'll see. All right, I'm gonna cut back to you when all this is all this is finished. I'm here to help. To learn a few things you can do, continue in the Google Home app. All right, so we are set up. Now, the one thing I wanted to test was not Fortnite guns. The one thing I wanted to test was here, the internet speed test. So we're gonna cancel this because I don't know how long this has been going, but okay. Okay, we're still, man, we are still at a super good spot with this speed test. So, we're at 102, and our uploads are almost at 10. So this is, this is awesome. This is very, very awesome. All right, now I'm going to go check this out in the other room to see what kind of speeds we're getting there. All right, guys, so this is the master bedroom point where... Previously, I clocked us in, um, let's start sharing my screen again. So previously, when I clocked this running a speed test, okay, so I clocked this in at 9.9 .9 megabytes per, or megabits per second. So when I go and run the speed test now, I mean, we are, we are cranking. I mean, we're still pushing that close to 100 megabits per second, so this is great. I've got one other point in the basement. Um, I'm not really worried about at this point, so I'm going to go through and I'm going to test all of these other places just to make sure, um, but we are a success in the master bedroom. We are clocking very fast, and you know, our, our Roku is going to be streaming, streaming very, very quickly. All right, now guys, this is the blue chair area. We clocked in at 11.7. .7. So I'm gonna go back and we're gonna run the test here. And this is just, this is right below where the Roku was in our, in our master bedroom. So again, we are clocking super fast speeds, very fast download, you know, faster uploads. Like this is, this is a huge success at this point. Okay, so now again we are next to routers. All the kids are up, everyone is playing Minecraft, everyone is doing something. So previously we clocked in at 12 megabits per second. We're gonna rerun this now, right next to the router. And again, we're, we're capturing that optimal speed right now. We're you know, just above 100. And our upload speeds are, again, very, very good, very good. All right, guys. Now this is the kids' room. So they are they were clocking, you know, 13 megabits per second. So as you can see, I mean, we've got different LED lights. We've got an Alexa in here, and we have Chase's gaming computer in here. 
So this did not test as fast with the other other Wi-Fi, and we are we are zooming. We are zooming. So he should have no problem playing his games in here, no problem streaming, and no problem downloading. So awesome. All right, now this is our last test. So as you can see in the basement, our upload speeds were poor. Um, the internet connection was all right. Now down here, Stacy typically will run her Cricut machine. She has a laptop down here. We print you know, eBay e labels for our eBay account and our printer is also down here. So um, let's let's run our speed test now. So this was this was a pretty poor speed before. Um, you know, we're getting this is not bad at all. So it's not it's not as optimal as the rest of the house. This is below and on the other side of where the router is at. So one of these nest points I could put down here, but this is this is not really a living area that we're in. So I, I, I really hesitate for putting that extra one down here if we're going to have another place to you know, utilize the Google Home. So we're not going to run this here. I'm going to test one other spot right next to where Bobby does a lot of his gaming. All right, guys. Now, this, this area, when I tested originally, this area when I tested originally was not so bad. Um, as you can see, we have two, two TVs here. Uh, one is a smart TV. There isn't also a switch connected um, so there's only two connections down here um, but I, I, I tested this before it ran very similar to what um, we were running upstairs um, at about you know 14 megabits per second so I didn't I didn't save that screen capture but we're gonna test again here just to see what kind of speeds we're getting now this is directly on the other side of Stacy's corner where she does all of you know her cricket work and we do our labels and whatnot so you know again this is this is blazing fast. So, and this is just on the other side of where she's at. I think there's a lot of interference um, within these walls and we do have some other, you know, we have an electrical box back there. So there just might be some interference between the two, but this is, this is running. This is so, so blazing hot. So this is great. This is good stuff. All right, friends. Now, lastly, I do appreciate you guys tuning in and checking this out. I've got couple things I wanted to show you. So we've looked at, so in this area right here is the front part of our room where our router is. Um, we tested the boys room up here. My office is here and our bedroom is right here. So in the basement down here, this is where we are at right now and you know, getting good signals. Up here was where we were getting our worst signal. It is the farthest point from our router. So we're looking right here was our farthest point. We're testing the best. You know, in our office, we're testing good. So this mesh system, it's giving us, it's encapsula encapsulating a giant Wi-Fi network within, you know, our house. So this is great. And whether we're, you know, it's the weekend and we're streaming, we're gaming, we're having fun, you know, this is going to work out very well for us. If we're all working from home, that's strange. If we're all working from home, um, doing schoolwork, you know, no matter what the case is, we are going to be in a very good spot to have some very good internet uh, service by Wi-Fi because it's we don't have a lot of um, connections that we can make. Um, we don't have a lot of network connections that are easy for us to make for every device. So Wi-Fi just it, it's the way to go for us. So. Whether you're next to the router or on the farthest point away from the router, we are making very, very good connections. So um, do appreciate you guys tuning into this. I've included some links um, in this video to some of these products that you guys can pick up yourselves. Um, I do hope you enjoyed them. If you have any questions, please leave them in the, in the comments below. Um, we very enjoyed putting this, you know, making this replacement from Archer to the Google Nest and I uh, hope you guys do as well. So. Have a great day. Thank you very much for watching The Building Kids, and please like and subscribe for more videos. Have a great day.